I was always told that to be a female surgeon that you had to really want it and to work harder and push yourself harder. Here at the University of Utah, it's unusual and very special here to have woman cardiac surgeon, woman interventional cardiologist, female cardiac anesthesiologist available to be part of our collaborative team. Currently in the field of cardiac surgery, there are about 3% of surgeons in the United States that practice in academic cardiac surgery that are females. So when I was in training, um, there were less than 100 cardiac surgeons that were female um, in the United States and the world. I remember when I passed my boards, I was number 154. I'm a cardiac surgeon and I do both open heart surgery and structural heart procedures. I think one of the biggest challenges is really just feeling a little out of place. You know, even choosing a career in interventional cardiology is difficult for females, mostly because they don't really have a lot of females to look around and say they're doing this, so they don't really have the encouragement to say, I can do this as well. People like Sarah in fields like cardiac surgery have really sort of pave the way for younger people like me, you know, my struggle has been less because of people like Sarah. I'm an interventional cardiologist, which means that I treat heart conditions, including heart attacks, blocked heart arteries, and valvular heart disease using minimally invasive transcatheter therapies. I think women need to see other successful women that are doing it um, and that can support them and show them how various options work in our careers and their day-to-day -day activities. We have seen a great increase in the interest of um, female medical students and residents to pursuing cardiac surgery. Um, so this year, 33% um, of our trainees are female and next year, 50% of our trainees will be female. You know, I think the fact that the growth and interest amongst female medical students and residents in the cardiac surgery department at the University of Utah speaks really highly of Sarah. You know, they seek out training here not only because they have a very high quality education and will be well trained when they finish their program, but also they have a female role model who can help them with some of the challenges that they perceive or maybe will experience throughout their training and into their careers. So I think my message to women who are aspiring to be an engineer, a scientist, a physician, a surgeon, is really that you can do it. You know, you will have to work hard and there will be tough days, but everybody goes through, the, through it, but with hard work and perseverance, you will have a successful and rewarding career. I would tell other female aspiring uh, physicians and surgeons to really believe in yourself um, and that you can do this. And even though there will be some really tough days, um, that overall um, your career will be very fulfilling and rewarding.